Anywho, opening. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm here on my solo tune again as usual. And we're going to go take her through another romp. We'll see what missions pop up and what comes our way. Take pride in your work, I always say. That's a good theory to keep, Street Sweeper. It's got to be a hard job sweeping after all these uh, players that keep running through town. <clears throat> well, let's see if there's anything that's actually in the area, first and foremost. Got to talk to somebody over here. Okay. As long as it's not trying to ship me somewhere. And then someone stabs the bard in the back. <laughs> ah, it's Assassin Lady. Vir Virian? Virian, by the looks of it, yeah. Hello. Hello, hero. Good to see you gone out of there in one piece. I understand that Omalexia can be a little rough on her toys. While you were oh getting my. cozy with the goddess, I discovered something interesting. Well, what'd you learn? The House Dresbom outside the city is on high alert. I saw the guards get violent with people for just walking by. They're using a courier named Thoraville to deliver bribes to House leaders and city officials. I think they're hiding something. So you wanted to check out the farm? What does this have to do with the Melbourne? Uh, let's go to the first one, because obviously it could be the Melbourne hiding out there. You know me so well, but we'll need to get the courier's key. He's been picking up wine here, then delivering bottles around town. He tends to keep a bottle or two as he goes along. We might be able to use that to our advantage. What do you suggest? Poison. Don't give me that look. It's not lethal poison. It'll just put him in a nice deep sleep. Follow him, and when he takes a sip from his bottle and falls over, you can grab his key. Um, actually, that's not a bad idea. Slip the poison into the bottle, wait for him to pass out, and then grab the key. Got it. Don't get too cocky, hero. House Dress is full and far, and its agents are on edge. If the courier thinks he's being followed, he might get spooked. You want him relaxed enough to start drinking, got it? So keep your distance. Yep, done this before. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, did you just slip away? Yes, you did. You sneaky little minx. Alright. Oh, downstairs. Stairs, I believe. Oh, good movie. Um, I believe VC was talking about uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Good movie. Sad. I cried. Uh, kill a minstrel. You had sex with a goddess? Question mark. You poured it in the floor. <laughs> uh, yes, Pan's Labyrinth is both beautiful and sad at the same time. Such a really good movie. Um. Uh, as for the goddess, no, no, that's just Virian being the little mafia assassin that she is, making lewd jokes about a goddess. Uh, as for her pouring it in the, on the floor, I don't think so, but maybe some of it dribbled. How's the wine downstairs? Did you find the special blend? I slipped some sleeping poison into the bottle. Good. Now we wait for the courier to come pick it up. We don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. Stay close. There he is now. Closer. Come closer. Where is he? No, eyes front. Look at me. We're close friends. 
closer. I said something funny. You're laughing. He just passed by. He's got the wine. Like what you see, hero? Of course you do. He's almost at the door. Keep watching me. All right, he's out. Go. You minx. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> You're one to talk about goddesses. See me, I'm hidden. He is booking it awfully hard. Are we sure that's a good idea? We can't be sure the threat is really over. following you did you get it did your invitation arrive rub it in why don't you if you must know shadastura has rejected me again nonsense i'm sure it's just a clerical error you'll be in the academy next season for sure Stick behind the tree, now behind the corner. Ooh. Not too visible now. That's it, take a nice long swig. Hee <laughs> Don't mind if I search you at all. Have a nice nap. Now we go to the farm. She just wants to kiss you. <laughs> I would have, I would have looked. You were spotted already. You said that he, this wasn't your fi <laughs> first rodeo. He was a courier. I don't think he noticed me. I think the running thing started because they're trying to make it difficult for you to follow, but not get too close and I think the whole pickpocket thing might have been in his reaction to somebody else I don't he because uh, I've seen uh, reactions in this game to when people notice you while following them and it's a lot more extreme than that it automatically instantly fails you so you have to restart by heading into the building and heading back out again so no I, I got that I got that the first try so so that that was not too bad. I managed to do that pretty well for the most part. Seems like he didn't notice me, and if he did notice me, it was uh, feigned inside the AI to make it look like he noticed me. Suspicious Ash. <clears throat> the distinctive reek of charred flesh permeates the room, rising from this damp pile of cinders. Whatever creature was burned here has been uh, recently reduced to ash. So this is his turkey leg. This slightly overcooked turkey leg is still warm to the touch.
A slick, slippery uh, substance coats the surface of these bottles. It smells strongly of damp and decay. Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh. Suspicious gems. These tiny shards of glass have been cut to resemble soul gems and fool the un undiscerning eye. Hmm. Sounds like thievery on a foot up here. I made it. Did you miss me? Find anything Oop. exciting before I got here? Hello. Well, well, well. See that? That's an impressive trapdoor for a simple farmhouse cellar. I love it when my hunches pan out. What did you think we should what do you think we should do then? Isn't it obvious? Open the door. They must be hiding something good down there. Let's go see. I'm surprised how Strayers managed to do anything with the ordinators on high alert. Not much gets past them, even when they're not looking for trouble. What do you think we'll find under that trap door then? Part of me hopes that all we find are a bunch of old crates that nobody cares about. But I've got one of those feelings. And I'm pretty sure it involves the Marlborn. Yeah, are you sure you still want to help me then? What I want and what I do are usually very different things, my friend. Let's just get down there and see what's going on. With any luck, we'll be done before the corner club serves tonight's flaming Nick stew. And the drinks will be on me. All right, then. Let's get this over with. So apparently I've managed to somehow turn this game into a story about a uh, warrior who is suddenly be being charmed by the uh, uh, wilds of a assassin female as well. <laughs> so I've in accidentally made a lesbian couple is what I'm saying. Because I'm sure she has more or less the same reaction to males unless they actually did re-script her for males. Let's see here. This looks like a short end, so let's have a quick peek around. Nope. In here? Nope. <laughs> Just had a suspicious dinner with suspicious baked stuffed scallops and a suspicious rice pilaf. Well, I had a suspicious, uh, cheesy garlic bread w stuffed with, uh, um, uh, jalapenos and bacon. And a suspicious bit of, uh, chicken pizza with spicy sauce. About time you got here. What took Been you so around. long? Come Been on, look around. let's see what's down here. Yes, let's look. You're kind of running past everything. Guy has searched all the crates. So far, nothing really interesting, to be honest. What's back here? What is in the barrel that wants to not be searched? Honey. Son of a bitch! They're confiscating honey! Those bastards! Hmm. Interesting. This isn't good. I wish my partner Varon was here. He'd know what to do. Wait. No, I don't. Varon would wring my neck for being down here. So, um, fair warning, this could be bad. Real bad. What are you talking about? This cave system. It links directly to the sewers beneath Mournhold. Well, to part of them. The sewers are more extensive than you'd think. That's why I couldn't find the Maulborn. They can move through these tunnels without being noticed. You seem to know a lot about these tunnels. Let's just say I've spent more than my share of time sneaking around beneath cities. If you've seen one sewer, you've seen them all. But how can uh, the Mulborn uh, avoid the uh, ordinators? Protections were placed down here to hide people. Mm. People with blood on their hands. <clears throat> people like me. If they found a way to activate the Daedric Wards again, then the Mulborn have a virtual hidden highway to use against us. Daedric Wards, uh, what are you telling me? That's not relevant right now, hero. Stay focused. Find the Maulborn and figure out what they're up to. Then we can talk about my sordid yet extremely intriguing past. Indeed. Well, 
Yep. Minutes? Really? Search around. There should be a door somewhere nearby. I'll keep an eye out. All I'm seeing down here so far is lizard folk. Does seem to be something suspicious over here of a dead corpse just laying in there. Like a lizard got too curious. Here's the stone slab here might be able to open if you can find the switch that operates it. Let me guess. The door won't open. The metal connecting this lever is to the housing. It's rusted and the lever won't turn. Perhaps you can apply pressure to the lever and get it to turn. Hmm. Now? Nope. Nope, no other choice. this so I could hit a switch. Um, where the hell is the switch? It's right over here somewhere. Oh! Apply a lit crease to the rusted housing. Okay, so that's turned. That's all that matters right now. So the other thing. Oh, oh! So the other arrow was to tell me to fight those things so I could get the grease. Gotcha. God. Oh, this just to teleport me up. Good job! I knew you could do it. Meet me inside. Okay. The wards. They're active. That's impossible. No one outside my organization should have been able to activate them. If the Moorborn are using this base, the entire city is in danger. Your organization, could they be involved? No, they can't be. Maybe a splinter group or something? I don't know what to think. Not all of us exactly see eye to eye on our current situation, but to join up with the Morborn? That's just idiotic. Who else would have activated the wards? I suppose anyone with knowledge of the Daedric Arts might be able to activate them. I'm not an expert on magic, you know. I need to warn somebody. Veron needs to know about this. What do the wards... Uh, so what should I do? Do what you do best. Rush in, swinging weapons, and tossing magic around like there's no tomorrow. If you find whoever activated the wards, get them to tell you what's going on down here. I'll figure out what's going on. Leave I it to me. I will. That's why I ran into you on your way to the temple. I'll drop the ordinators an anonymous tip. Maybe even get word to your beloved goddess. Hopefully someone will show up to give you a hand. Just don't die on me, hero. Got that? 
Oh, that's sweet. I'd almost swear that you're attracted to me. Uh, anyway. So this is what a Morang Tong... So this was a, a Morang Tong base? It used to be. But we haven't used these halls in a long, long time. Not since we fell out of favor. What's down there? That's just it. There shouldn't be anything down here. Not anymore. Sure, in the past, when the wards were active, we used this place to come and go as we pleased. There wasn't a better hiding place for a group of dedicated assassins for hire. Hmm. All right. I'll have a look. I'll see you later. Hey there! Hi, I'm here to kill a cult full of zombie-making assholes. Have you seen them lately? Oh, you seem to be on fire. Here, let me fan out the flames for you. Or start new ones. From a to ashes to ashes. Uh, the organization that was mentioned, that's the assassin organization that she's apparently from. I believe she did make mention of it earlier. I almost questioned that myself and was like, oh wait, never mind, she did mention it. Apparently they're one of many assassin for hire groups in Tamriel. So anyway, fireballs! Fireballs for everybody! Who wants more fireballs? I do. Your ranged guy's a real pain in the neck. Ooh, shinies. I will take. Anything else up here? Empty barrels. <laughs> Throw some extra gold my way, please do. At least it's light lightweight. Oh gosh, how much inventory space do I have? I got a few spots. Can easily scrap a few weapons when I get done. Alright. Wee Um, okay, he just literally backed into a wall. He backed himself into a wall and then died. That's a thing you don't see every day. He must have had the teleportation spell and accidentally cast it on himself and walked through a wall and died while getting caught in it. Snuck by those guys, they respawned already. Bow. Come <laughs> on. 
Wow, I'm pwning you guys. I'm just pushing all the right buttons right now. Screw you, I can jump. Eat flames. Ooh, okay. God, where the hell am I going? Interesting locale though, I want to have a look around. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Which is sad really, because this would be like the perfect place to hide a shard or something. Underground tree that's growing in here. You guys need to do some pruning in your sewer system, apparently. More or less the same area, so might as well go this way. Let's see what's over here. Poor bastard. Here, let me take that from you. Stay back! Attacking the city! Stay back! What fool dares enter the lair of the Molmoth? Wait, we know you. Display my head nowhere! You all need to fight me first! Uh, people that wanted me to die? Ha! You're hardly the first ones either. Don't act like you're so special. Oh, pretty please. Let me show you your comeuppets! All of the magic spells, you can eat them! Ooh! Um, hello! The scent hello. of Daedric magic permeates the air. Those who practice forbidden magic shall pay dearly for their crimes. It seems I am in your debt again, champion. Your friend. She thinks to hide from me. But I heard her words of warning. She cares for you. But Verona is wounded. I shall take her to the Mage's Guild where she can receive care. Find her there. Verona's the person that we came here to save. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, I can get on my own. No need for help or anything! I'm Alexia, just spawned out of nowhere and just went, Yeah, I'm a badass. I knew you were in trouble. Here, I'm going to take all the bad guys captive. I know about the assassin that's apparently uh, got the hots for you. Go ahead. 
And uh, by the way, this person that you tried to help that's wounded, I'll take them. Bye. Boop. <clears throat> well, that just sorts itself out uh, at this point, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you, you you can walk. Thanks for showing me the way. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I, I swear to God, she's listening to me through the lantern. I guarantee you that's why she handed me the lantern. Guarantee it. It's halfway It's halfway to be useful to, and halfway to just spy on me. Or more importantly, to spy on the others that uh, I occasionally work with. Because like, obviously, people I work with tend to be shades of gray. Nobody's a saint unless they happen to also be a cleric. Well, they seem to have a ghost in the docks. Not every day we see a ghost. Figure out what he's all about. Oh my me, people just came in through the docks by swimming. Hello. What do you want? Do you have an invitation? No invitation, no passage. You're a ghost. How can you be a boatmaster? Because the academy couldn't find a living person who could tolerate rowing spoiled mages in training back and forth all day long. Plus, I owe the academy a debt I won't be able to repay in a hundred lifetimes. So here I am. Oh. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I had to find out. See you later. You people in slave spirits! What assholes! Please, listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. That's what everybody says. Um, which way is this? There it is. Yeah, pretty much every day around here. Everyone's either a liar or an asshole. And the only person that's not a complete asshole is an assassin who just has taken the sun shining to me. Not that I have anything against that. Yeah, the uh, assholes are dead, except for one assassin. <laughs> the gods have abandoned me. What exactly is Hello. I know you. You were in the sewers, right? You saved me, didn't you? I don't remember much, but I remember you. You remember all the blazing fireballs I sent up everyone's asses? Yes, hello! Uh, tell me what you can remember other than that. I came to Mournhold a few weeks ago, to visit some friends. I guess word got out that a Telvani was in the city, because I suddenly found myself tied up in the sewers. The Moorborn. They kept badgering me about Daedric magic. Um... Why would anyone care about the Telvanni? Are you really so naive? Not from around here. The Telvanni rejected membership in the Ebonheart Pact. We oh. remain isolated, pursuing our own interests along the Telvanni coast. That's just one of the reasons the other houses distrust us. Uh, why will the Morborn ask you about Daedric magic? Members of House Telvanni are known for their knowledge of all types of magic. I guess they assumed I could make the old wards active again. I did what they wanted, eventually. It was either that or... I don't want to think about it. <sighs> you want to tell me to believe they forced you to help them? Do you know what the Mulborn were doing down there? That's more I important. I only know what I heard. I think they were planning an attack of some sort. They sent off a large group just before you showed up. I told all of this to the Sacred Lady. She said you would visit me, and I should tell you to find an ordinator. 
Okay, uh, you want me to believe you were forced to help them? I don't care what you believe, but I never heard of the Morborn before I came to this vile city. And I certainly had no intention of betraying the Tribunal before they threatened me. Okay, doc. Good day. Ordinators! Hello. Ah, just in time. The Sacred Lady asked us to watch for you. Yes, I was told you had a message for me. Indeed. The Sacred Lady wants you to know that she wasn't able to eliminate all of the pests you found in the sewers. The small army that got away, is it still on the loose? So Amalexia believes. I was told to convey upon you the gratitude of the Tribunal, and to inform you that the Sacred Lady still has need of your services. Okie doke. And one more thing. The Sacred Lady wishes to speak with you. Personally. She awaits your presence. Please, head to the temple at once. Does she know where the Mulborn plan to attack? The Sacred Lady doesn't share all of her secrets with those who serve her. But as far as I know, no attack has yet occurred within the confines of the city. Uh, what aren't you telling me? We've been ordered not to discuss the entirety of the situation in public. To prevent panic, you understand. The lady summons you. Go. <sighs> Fine. I wish you people would be truthful and then I wouldn't have to call you a bunch of lying assholes! Anyway, I'm looking to see chaotic or uh, 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 that like great sword. Mm. Uh, anything else here of interest? No, nope, just this one great sword, and I still need another two levels before I can use it. Medium heavy. Meh. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Also interesting. My outfits right now is suddenly becoming hodgepodge. Um, cool. Hmm. Oh, actually, the other ones are better. Slightly better. Oh, actually, there's a sh there's. I just realized that there's stuff on the side there that tells me a better version of everything. Okay. Ooh. <coughs> mm. Reduces health, but gives me. It's only a small amount of health anyway. Gives me more resistances. All right. I swear to God, I am looking more and more like a cleric. I, my outfit has turned completely freaking like steel white. Uh, and excuse me uh, for the sneeze. Um. You and your run around. I swear. to get there on a decent amount of time, I'm going to have to use the horse at this point. Yeah, and I saw the level up too, so I'm going to have to look at that in a moment. Ooh. 
Apparently the water got deep. Actually, before I go in there, I should probably do it, use it anyways and have a look, see what I got. Let's see here. Let's get some more Magicka. Commit. Now then. Ooh. My ultimate is upgradable now. So... One skill point requires one skill point. Uh, you cannot move while channeling. You gain immunity to all disabling effects. Uh, 3,900 health to everyone. A major protection reducing damage you take by 30 for seven for four seven seconds. You uh, cannot move while channeling. Or I can add an additional two seconds. Which means another blast of the spell. Um You know what? Uh, adding some damage uh, dampening after I'm healed would actually be really nice. That sounds fantastic. Let's do it. And up here we go. Oh, hi. I literally walked right past you. Some of my own children have betrayed me. I am rarely an angry god, but this time there shall be a reckoning. How may I help? Rage consumes me. The moorborn invade my home, they attack my children, they attack me. You have proven yourself loyal and capable. I call upon you to serve me once more. Um, you're god, what can you do that I... What can I do that you can't? You shall hear, though you shall never speak of it. This enemy uses guile and subterfuge. I need time to understand the threat they pose. My divine defenses have been breached and the temple has been invaded. I cannot be seen to fail. Uh... Why care so much about the appearances? Appearances are everything. They feed opinion and belief, and such matters are important to me. But enough questions. Save the temple, and you will be renowned among mortals and favored by gods. All right, thank you very much, my lady. The Moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege must not stand. And what do you want me to do? Banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat them, and then make your way to my altar. While you slay their minions, I shall determine what the Moorborn are really up to. Now go, and carry my divine rage with you. Yes, I'm Alexia. As you wish. Choppy choppy woohoo! <laughs> choppy choppy woohoo! If you hadn't stopped the Covenant from summoning Sadal, we'd all be dead. Yep, thank you. Good day. Don't sass a god, <laughs> little face. Not sassing her, I just want to know what's so important that I need to do it for her, but I suppose if she needs to keep up appearances and they're trying to keep the attack on her temple hush-hush as much as possible, I guess sending in the hero, the, the good little paladin that's going to take care of everything for them. Or cleric, or whatever you want to call me at this point, I'm not sure. I work as either. Not my first time as a paladin either. Wow, it's one of you guys again. How quickly you've fallen from being a boss to just a nobody. And I have so many questions as to why you're here, now that I think of it. Because aren't you servants of Moloch Ball? Fine, sap all my energy. 
see what good does you. Fire and flame! See the flowers, they're pretty and all, but ay 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 ay. I should have looted stuff, I should have pawned stuff, I should say. There. Get that out of my way. Can at least pick up one more thing. Here. Do this. Monte value time. Mm. Whole bunch of zero money stuff that I want to keep. Ah, here we go. As much as I don't want to toss it out at the same time, it is basic ass stuff. Oh, hi. Nope to the both of you. Kill the creator, kill the spell. I don't need to fight any more of those than I need to. They're annoying to take care of, it's mostly magic fighting with them. Alright, close it! Oh, there's three of them? I thought there was only one. You only mentioned one. Oh, great, I do have to fight it. Stop that. Keep the jerkin because it's made of fancy stuff and I can rip it apart for better materials for crafting my own stuff, even. Because it's a rare material thing. Uh, whenever I pull apart anything that's green or blue, it has a high chance of dropping the gems I can use for enchanting my items later. Uh, 
Uh, mine just swings the battle axe now, thank you. Like I said, I didn't want to get rid of it. This may have blue stuff, which means it's probably more rare materials even that I'll get out of it, so best to keep it. It's not so much a monetary value as much as it is an actual crafting value. Because they don't always add up on that for some reason. Here's another one. Choppy, choppy. Uh, all right. <clears throat> oh, the Bopi can eat some fire. I'm one of the keepers of the sacred fire. You shall not pass. Um, where's your loot? There it is. God damn it. See, whereas the regular sword here, and these regular ass weapons, they don't drop as much. They'll just at best still drop uh, steel ingots, and that's it. Closing the portal. Now we need to go pray to an altar. Same goes to you, Chuckles. mostly whites, so it's not worth it as much as I wanna. Come <laughs> on. 
deal with you later if I have to. All right. Hello. I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. All right. What did you find out? Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an oblivion gate to fill the temple with Daedra. All right. So why would she do that? Vox seeks to desecrate the temple, steal our holy artifacts, and then loose Daedra upon Mournhold. If she succeeds, a great many of my children will die, and my people may lose confidence in the tribunal. That would be catastrophic. All right, what do you want me to you do? You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in place, drawing on the full power of the tribunal. We must get you past those wards. All right, how do I get in? Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. You have more than proven yourself to me. You have my blessing already. <sighs> so how do I get the blessings of the other gods? Go to the cloisters of Vivet and Sothaseel. My companion gods are absent, but they left trials I can activate to grant their blessings. Pass the trials, and you will be blessed. All right, I guess. Seems overly complicated if you ask me. All right, there's an exit over here. We can take you know, for the hills really quick for a few minutes and sell some like junk. Do a little bit of quick crafting. Da, 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 da. Pardon me, guys. Pardon me, excuse me. Hi there again. You're awfully fast. to think where are the stables here or that way okay I must finish this another quick thing I should show off uh, since I re-remembered that it was a thing Master. Welcome, friend. You won't find a better stable in all of Morrowind. Increase the speed, please. Thank you. Good day. I can increase one stat every 24 hours or something to that effect. And essentially I can just keep putting down money to increase my horse speed the point that it'll be impossible to be nearly as fast as my horse. <laughs> then I can start working on the other stats. station. Oh, uh, I need to actually sell some stuff first. The right tool for the right... Uh, 
cell. Um, what does it say? Walmart equipment. Okay, so that's actually a craftable item. We'll hold on to it for now. I'll put it in the bank when I'm done. Actually, Moonstone. Yeah, I don't know. Can I jeep? Let's get rid of that just so I can open up some space. I uh, also don't need this or this. Okay, that's a clothing improver. Nope, don't need that. Healing potions, don't need those. Uh, oh, repair all for 300. Yes, please. Um, Alright, I should be able to do some crafting now. I'm going to do is open up some more spaces, start some more research. Weapons are all done, it's the armor right now. Got one more pair of boots that need to be studied. And anything else? Ah, pair of patents. Oh, someone, something that's, that's still being researched? Okay. Guess I'll check back again later. Must be a long one. Can I talk to the blacksmith, please? Right wow. Job for the right job, I always say. Uh, okay. Stuff I can bank. That's what woodworking. That can go. That's, yeah, that's for blacksmith thing. Uh, I should get more crystals. Um, otherwise, it seems like everything else is pretty much done. Anything I can smelt? Not the moment. Oh, actually, no, I have some Ariel. Come on, I can smelt. Excellent. All right. I'm level 24, is it now? Twenty-six is the bare minimum for that one, so I'm gonna assume that twenty-four is the max, okay. Doesn't have the magic, but it does have more damage. Actually, with the flame magic, it's almost twice that amount, so never mind. As long as they're not immune to fire. Oh, uh, well, I'm wearing this currently better. Wearing this currently better.
Okay, that would have been an improvement on the helmet. Pants aren't as strong, but they have a lot more to them, so not the moment. Shoulder pads. That would actually be an improvement to my shoulder pads. Let's see here. And the belt. Her one's better. Alright, that's the best I could do. Actually, no. I need to smelt this stuff. question is, after all of this, where are we at for time? And where we at for time is just over an hour now, so okay. Yep, we're going to have to call it. Oriel comes better, Vixie, but I can't actually make it at my level currently. I believe the minimum I can make Ori Halcom is a equipment that requires me to leave at level 26 and I just hit 24. So while I'd like to use it, my crafting ability is actually far superior to my equipping ability. But anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you all come back and see us again tomorrow night. I'll be doing another Smolo then for tomorrow. Um, I will be putting, putting these out again the next morning after I record them the night before. So I'll see you all Sunday morning with this episode, and I'll see you next time Monday morning. And then Monday night, we'll be recording a group session. And we might finally be able to investigate the Halloween stuff that should be going on at that point. Um, other than that, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you, Vixie, for uh, joining me in the chat. And if you all want to help out even more, you can always donate via PayPal, Streamlabs, or also, if you're on VidMe, you can also either donate to the episode, or you can also subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night.